Hey, what's up guys? Dustin here, Adam Off-Road. In today's video, we're going to be working on my 1987 Jeep Cherokee XJ. We're going to be building a prefab bumper from Amazon for 140 bucks. That's what it looks like. Let's get to work. We're going to start bending the front or the face of the bumper, then the base, and then the sides that kind of wrap around the front fender. And then we'll be tying in the D-ring mounts and then your actual support brackets for the frame on the Jeep. So by the end of the process, we should start seeing what looks like a bumper for the XJ. This is the first piece that we'll be bending. I have it clamped to the edge of the table. And then I've got these two clamps. I'll just grab onto those and bend it up to a 90. A couple tools that are super helpful to the build. It's gonna be this 90 degree triangle, 90 degree magnet, and then as well as a angle finder. For this bend here, it's gonna be a good idea to make sure you have your winch. That way when you bend this up, it's not interfering with the way the winch mounts to the plate. So I have both of the wings of the bumper clamped to the table. We're gonna be making two 90 degree bends. And then we wanna just make sure when we make those bends, we're making a left hand part and a right hand part. So I'm gonna start with bending this one up to a 90, like so. And then the second bend is gonna be these up to a 90. Now you can put your angle on there. If you have to bend it back, you can bend it forward. Just make sure it's square with your angle. Quick trip to the hardware store because I realized I need a bunch of hardware to get this going. Now I want to get the tie-in brackets mounted up to the Jeep because it's going to be some fit and finish that we're going to need to get all of this bolted up. Got the tie-in brackets all painted up. I used some of this paint. It's called 2X Ultra Cover Paint Plus Primer. Um, I've been using this stuff quite a while satin black is my favorite color i just think the paint comes out really good so got those two painted for now we're going to get these tie brackets over to the jeep with these bolts and these bolts here and i'll show you how these bolt up to the jeep so as you can see the three holes is the pattern for the bumper this bolt i just held in there just holding it up so it's loose we're gonna have to take that back off when we bolt the finished bumper but on the other side you see i have the tie-in bracket here this is the bolt that goes through the frame for added rigidity. I will give you all the dimensions and the size of all the hardware in the description box below. Go ahead and check that out. But it had to be a specific length on this side because the alternator, I just left that loose. I'm not ready to tighten it yet. Now you could always opt to weld in these extra holes. Um, I don't want to do any more drilling or welding than I have to. If I have to later, we will probably end up doing some welds in here if it becomes an issue. But for now, I'm just gonna do it like this. Now, this side in particular has three bolts that hold up the power steering. You, I had to remove those three bolts. They're right here. And then this bracket to get to those bolts was right here, holding up some of this plastic um, wheel well material. So that's what I'm working on right now, just getting these bolts bolt it back up into the power steering on the other side of the frame. Big bolt now is torqued. I think I got about 100 foot pounds on that one. Really nice and tight. And then I've got the power steering bolt bolts, these three over here, all torqued up. Those I'll leave on the screen. And then this one's just loose. That way we can tie in our new bumper. And the same for over here. I got that big bolt that went through. So there's not a lot of clearance there because of the alternator, but that worked out good on that length. And for the bolt back here, we have plenty of clearance on this side. We're gonna get ready to tack everything together. So let's get to it. I've got the magnets on the back here, just supporting the front center section and then the base plate for the winch. All right, so I just got done tacking the center plate to the base or the winch plate. And now I'm getting ready to tack up the left wing. So I flipped it around and then I laid the wing flat on the table so you can see how it butts up to the winch plate now. So you can see it's real flat here all the way across the top of the bumper. So once I get this tacked up to the winch plate, then I'll go ahead and slide this all over, clamp it back down and we'll get the other side on. And then we'll just make sure everything is square with the level. Got 
the D-ring mount set up where I like him. I'm going to leave about a quarter inch of material on the back side. That way I have a good place to weld in this heavy material up to the quarter inch stock. I just stuck this level across the bumper just to see if everything's correct and true. Um, I'm looking for any twisting or binding and everything so far looking pretty good and the tacks are holding. So next I need to take the bumper over to the XJ and see if we're gonna have any issues with the wings. So that's the plan. I'm gonna go fit this up and see what we need to cut. So as you can see, the bumper did not fit up on the XJ in that last clip. It just came up too short. The fender to fender is too wide and there are some modifications that I'm gonna have to do to this bumper. Now that's the cool thing about these bumpers is that you can make it how you want it. So I'm ready to get this thing burned in. So I wanna be very particular about where I'm welding. So I'll probably do a couple beads over here let that heat spread out and then do a couple beads over here. And then I'll kind of rotate in different areas until it's completely welded up. And that's my strategy. So this bumper doesn't twist or warp on us. So we'll be watching that. We'll just take our time, let it cool down and start getting this thing welded up. It's been super hot the last couple of days, but it's a new day and I've got to get some progress done on this bumper. So I'm going to flip you around and show you what I got going. I've got some full welds going across the sides and up. And you can also see I've got the D-ring recovery points all welded in. Got some staggered welds coming in through here and the D-ring recovery mounts as well, all welded in real nice and strong in the back. Up in here, I've got all these seams welded up on the bottom and right here here all the welds that are going to be showing on the outside i'm going to try to not have to grind any of those and just keep them i really like the way they're looking on this build but i need to figure out what i'm going to be doing with this gap here now because i'll be using the factory bumper with this bumper i want to see what i can do about covering up these spaces so i'm gonna to have to mount this up with the other bumper and just see what we got going. So there were some modifications I had to do to the original bumper. And as you can see, the biggest one was having to notch out the front of the bumper to accept the new bumper. I need to trim off this piece right here in order for it to move out so all the holes line up. So I'll probably cut this piece straight off, this piece here. And then I was thinking about making a piece of material like that to kind of blend in real well from bumper to bumper. And so I'm working on that. This all has to come back off so I can get these pieces on and then make sure all the fit up is good with the bolt holes to both bumpers. All right, so there's the bumper fit up real nice into the new bumper. And I've got the tabs on the ends too as well tacked up. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tip this bumper over and do my finish welds. All the finish welds are done. I've got this thing wiped down pretty good with alcohol and I'm getting ready to paint it. Everything came out pretty good with the welds. I'm very happy with it. In the instructions, it talks about grinding all these welds down to make them smooth, but man, these welds are looking pretty good, and I'm really happy with the way they turned out. Last second change, we're gonna cut that off, as well as this side here. All right, so I've got the bumper clamped up in this direction and this direction to kind of hold up the bracket. The bolts are real loose, so I know that when I go to fit this up, I can just slip them right through. And I'm going to tack this bracket to the new bumper bracket. And then we can tighten the bolts on the brackets of the original bumper. And I'll do that on both sides. And I'm just going to touch this up with some paint so it doesn't rust. All right, so the bumper is done. I've got the winch installed. It's the Expo winch from one of my red TJs. I had the Poison Spider Fairlead, went ahead and put that on with this powder coated uh, clevis hook. It matches the synthetic line, but overall got that installed pretty quick and the paint's looking really good. Now you can see what I mean by how the original bumper still wraps around the fender and you don't have to cut. So here's the side view where I had to make that special piece where I cut off the end here. It would typically go onto the side. So I just cut that off and made that piece. 
and then you can see the whole bumper goes all the way across there and you still have the strip that goes across all your plastics remain everything still stays except that the bumper can now bolt up part of the front bumper was blocking the back bolts so just cut some holes with a hole saw and i got access to the back bolts for the winch i really like the paint and it really makes the welds pop out so that's it guys that's our prefab bumper it's not often you see bumpers like this where they're integrated into the factory bumper but overall i'm pretty happy with it and it should definitely serve a purpose for recovery points and winching so super excited to be taking this camping here soon there's a few things i want to do to it before we take it out but yeah i'm super <laughs> stoked about how this thing is looking and i hope you guys enjoy the video if you do hit the like button subscribe share do all that good stuff and we will see you on the next video have a good day peace out